friend's house, staying at a friend's house, but was really somewhere else. Hmm. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lizzie. You already know what it is. I'm back with another video. As you can see, I've got a special guest with me, my cousin Esther. She has a YouTube channel and an Instagram account. I will put it up in on the screen somewhere. So she is a fam well, she's no longer a pharmacy student, <laughs> but <laughs> you know, she's all about studying and you know she's about to change and you know bring you guys into lifestyle and everything. Her videos are fantastic, her content on Instagram are also awesome. You can check her out for all your study tips and you know, just you know, exam tips and stuff. Because you know, we all need tips and everywhere, so make sure to check her out and I'll put her channel in the description down below as well so that you guys can go subscribe so anyways we've got a collab for you guys never have i video this is the part two the part one is on esther's channel so yeah. we'll link that i'll link that down below for you guys mm -hmm. um so yeah let's get right into the video okay let's go ready for this let's right go you go first i'm going first all right um this might sound a bit TMI and a bit disgusting, but like we're a bit real here, so we don't mind, do you? Let's go for it. Okay. Never have I clogged a toilet. Well. <laughs> I'm not going to think about this really hard. <laughs> think, think, think. <clears throat> think deeply. It, must, it doesn't have to be in your house. It could be in somebody else's house. It could be in a restaurant, toilet any toilet okay well i'll give an explanation <laughs> <laughs> let me close my eyes <laughs> okay okay let me explain first <laughs> my whole situation is that study to have whatever i have closed their toilet with that <laughs> No. First of all, I haven't used toilets outside because I just don't like because of that my one experience of clogging a toilet and it was it was very very disgusting. I just don't want to do it again. Since then I never use a toilet outside except I have to wee. However, some people need to walk like literally walk on their flushes thinking because you using toilet thinking everything is fine and then you press the thing and the thing says press me very well. <laughs> and it's not working and you're in a situation where like i've already used the toilet what would what i would do, do in this situation because that's why since then i have to test the thing to make sure it's working before i use the toilet if i really have to use it and also because you know some of us have some medical conditions where you're constipated like some days you're very very constipated and you can't really you know what i mean like it was intentional but yeah <laughs> <laughs> mine is always similar so like like yeah like You've used the toilet and everything, you go to flush, it, it's taking time to flush. Like you flush the first time, it's still there. You flush the second time, it's still there. And then you're just like, oh my goodness, what is going on? So you end up spending like about at least 10 minutes trying to flush this toilet. And then you're thinking, in my head, I'm thinking, gosh, they're, they're probably thinking, what's taking her so long in the toilet? In the toilet, yeah. Like, come on, you've just, you're just going to the toilet. In total, you've ended up like, probably spending like 30 minutes, yeah. or what seems like 30 minutes to you, because you're thinking, oh gosh, they're thinking I'm being in here for too long. Mm -hmm. But like, it's a situation where the, like, it's just not going. But you can't exactly leave the toilet like that. You have to sort it out before you leave the toilet. Mm. Or you have to then tell them, let them know so that or they can you sort just it out. Have, and you don't want to talk about how you sort it out. You have to keep that exactly. inside me because exactly. sometimes, and especially the, uh, because I'm at work as well, the main place I find this an issue is when I'm at work. I don't understand. And when you do night shifts, like something happens that just keeps you bloated unnecessarily well, because you're working a night shift. It's just I feel like ask anyone that's doing a night shift in the hospital, you just get this random bloatedness, and you go to the toilet and you're like, what's wrong? What do you do? But you have to find your way to it. It's, it's kind of like just exactly. finish the thing but like the moral of the story is before you use the toilet outside test check the test the flush with yep. some tissue paper before you use it yep <laughs> never have i been on tv mm. 
<laughs> okay. You right. have. I have, but this was like secondary school. Like it was, I don't know what year. Um, I think it was like year eight or something like that. We went on a school trip to Oxford um, University and another place in Oxford. Um, so we all went and everything. And we did not know that BBC News were going to be there filming something and you know they were they were asking questions and stuff and even I like we didn't know that you know they were going to use the clip or anything like that but they did mm -hmm. and you know it was then you didn't think to oh let me quickly record this mm -hmm. so that I have this for like you know memories and stuff but yeah oh, that was okay. what it is but well, I saw it when I got home. My parents saw it and stuff, so okay. I guess it was good. My cousin is a low-key celebrity. <laughs> no. <laughs> mm, all right. I wish. <laughs> okay, okay. Never avoid falling asleep in class. Explain yourself. I will. <laughs> okay. Well, as you might know, I did a pharmacy degree. Typical 9 to 5 every day, Monday to Friday. I know the worst part of this sleeping situation. You know, imagine listening to four hours of lecture of the human anatomy. Like, that is literally death. <laughs> and you know what I even do? The worst part of it, my, my classmate know that I always sit at the front because I, uh. even though I use glasses, I can still sit at the back because I can't see. I have to sit close. I will sit in front of the lecturer and still be sleeping. <laughs> that is how bad it was. But yeah, and then my friends would be like, Esther, wake up, wake up. I'm like, you got to, I'll just put my head on the desk. A lecturer is teaching. Wow. <laughs> because wow. you just like, and I don't know, it got so bad that, and I feel like it must have been exhaustion. Even in the morning, first 9 a.m. lecture, I'm sleeping already. Like, it must wow. have been really, really huge exhaustion. Like, so if you want to do pharmacy degree, come and ask me first before you do it. So I'll, I'll advise you in the right way. Uni life. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think what's taking me back is the fact that it's right in front of the lecturer. Like, yeah. if you're at the back of the of the lecture and everything, like, I it's will, fine. I will look at that confidence. <laughs> sit in front and I'll sleep. The lecturer cannot do anything. Imagine. <laughs> hey. Try that one in <laughs> Africa. You mm -hmm. will see. <laughs> you will be the top of the class. <laughs> you will see. <laughs> right. Never have I been hungover. Hmm. What do you mean by hungover? Complete hungover. Like, like I, mm, if I say what I mean, then I, 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 I'm giving myself the question, my answer away. No, because you, you, because you don't know if you are up or you have not. But I need to clear. Because on go by, maybe we're walking on Okay, the like street. let's say you've passed, like you passed out oh. from drinking. You drank so much, to so stupor. much. Yeah, is that what you? Yeah, mean? Okay. drank so much. All right. So you passed out, or let's say, I don't know. You woke up and you like literally just feel rubbish because okay. you've drunk so much. All right. All, All right. right. I okay. Where is this? <laughs> Okay. Um, I have not and the reason why I ask for clarity is that I have not drunk to the point where I've passed out or behaving stupidly outside. I know my my point level and I don't drink that much. Um I sort of am like, like a social drinker and anything I have, no matter what drink it is, no matter what percentage, I don't have more than two units of that thing. And but I know that sometimes even those two when I wake up the next morning I might have some headaches but I've never drunk too steep or where I'm actually constituting nuisance outside but like sometimes even though you have leaked to depends depending on how many percentage that you how much percentage you've had you might still feel so groggy like, the yeah, next yeah. morning and stuff so but not passed out now nah. yeah, yeah okay well for me now i don't drink like the last time i had a drink was 20 when i was 21 mm -hmm. um but yeah um before when i drank like i knew my limit okay so i just knew mm -hmm. i think i just never wanted to make a fool out of myself i yeah, think that was it it's just I think, yeah and i didn't want to put myself in a situation where anything could happen and i couldn't remember what happened mm -hmm. like god forbid you know mm -hmm. so 
you know we hear a lot of stories and stuff and i just didn't want to put myself in that situation yeah. so yeah and i've never also it's, it's also wouldn't speak well of us coming from a um from our type of culture, culture and, yeah. and religion um like it's you get what i mean it's quite embarrassing and if you do it you do not justice with and african culture does not keep things within the yeah home. yeah it gets outside and yeah your aunties and your uncles so everywhere everyone, everyone will right. know right right we have two more questions to go it goes so quick isn't it i know so my last one is um never have i had a surprise party thrown for me <laughs> is it showing I yeah. think so, yeah. Mm, yeah. I have not. No, I have not either. Like, we, I it's think... so funny, it's so iron. We are the queen of planning surprises yeah. for people. No one actually plans surprises for I us. think because they don't, put, most likely because they can't keep it secret. So, yeah, so I We're just end up knowing. keep it a secret, but. Yeah, yeah, because we plan lots of surprises for people. Like, we are the queen of, yeah. pl like, master planner of surprises. But I've never had anyone surprise me because I couldn't no. able to get away with it because I would know. No. Yeah. It's, I mean, and because I like planning stuff, I like to be in control. Mm. So, for my birthday, I always say, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. Mm. I mean, yes, there's been times that, like, I was surprised by my fiance obviously my husband then fiance like um from one of my birthdays he got me like a cake my one of my other cousin was in charge of that like she liaised with him mm. but i didn't know it was happening but i knew obviously it was going to get me something for my birthday yeah. you know what i mean and it was not like it was a party it was just like a cake which was a present and then obviously another present as well on top yeah. of it but it wasn't like a party or anything like that but what happened that day i planned it yeah. i was like this is what i want to do this is what i'm gonna do we're going for a meal we're she's doing a queen this. of planning and so, she, likes, she likes planning parties yeah i, I mean, like to plan <laughs> I, can part, I can be part of the plan but i don't like the stress of it yeah so whereas i think i take on the stress i don't care i i go with everything thumbs up for that yeah <laughs> but yeah i haven't it's just but maybe people do not think about surprising me, but yeah, I would know really they can't get away with it. Yeah, it. I think no matter how much you try to hide it, I will know something's going Some, on. Yeah, something, yeah, you, because they, they will start acting weird, like they don't have to know, yeah. like we do, like or they will start asking you questions, like, oh, if you had two options, what yeah, would well, it be? Yeah, and you'd be like, like, why are you, uh, are you randomly planning asking something? me this? Yeah. yeah, in my head, I already know you're planning something, yeah, so. So, no. Never have I told my parents I was staying at a friend's house, but was really somewhere else. Mm. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Start talking. Hopefully, mommy will not see this video. Okay, secondary school. Okay, oh, it was oh, <laughs> secondary school <laughs> It was prom. Okay, so prom. Um, I was staying at obviously. I was staying at a friend's house. Mm -hmm. Like I was staying at a friend's house. However, they just didn't know that there was also a prom night party mm. and everything. So obviously, after prom, went to my friend's house. Um, all girls, everything got changed to go to the after party. And yeah, we were at the after party till like about 3 a.m. Mm. Um, <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> and then her parents came to pick us up and yeah, we went back to obviously our house to sleep. Mm. And then my parents came to pick me up around like six in the morning because we needed to go somewhere mm -hmm. um, the next day. So, but yeah, they just didn't know about the after party. Well, I, I haven't because I'm even a very, very unsocial person. Um, so sometimes I even my dad questions me and say, do you not have friends? Yeah. Like, well, even on weekends when I union and I call him, like, for example, today I've been on the phone with him for like an hour. I'm sure he was fed up with me talking to him on the phone. He asked me yeah. like, do you not have friends? Do you have nowhere to go? <laughs> and things. So I've never really actually gone somewhere that they don't know. So my dad knows where I am. Yeah. If if you call him he will tell you I know where I is. So yeah. That's that is it's not, I've never done that. I wish I I, I think I would love to experience that one actually. <laughs> Never know. Okay. Hi right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've loved it and enjoy our little collab that we've done. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to go onto Esther's channel to watch the for part one. Mm -hmm. And also do make sure to subscribe to her channel. And, and 
and yeah. still people should subscribe to you and also subscribe to my channel and also check us out on instagram and yeah join the family and everything but yeah guys without further ado we shall see you in our next video bye, bye.